All right, so we got an oil pressure update. I replaced my oil pump with a used but known good user revision BF oil pump. I can't remember. Car is good and warm, Mike. That's for you. I know I said a lot in the last video, um, but I was having similar issues. I'm running 2050 right now, and uh, the oil pressure was as good as when I had the STP to the regular stuff. But what I decided to do was disconnect the N428 valve, which is the one that says, okay, the car's warmed up, let's go ahead and lower the oil pressure down. Well, that's at idle, 15 PSI. And you give it hell, and it goes right on up. So I personally think that this car does have oil pressure issues somewhere else very well could be the balance shafts could be anywhere else um not really sure but what disconnecting the n428 valve does is at a minimum it gives you oil pressure when you didn't have any so that's not a bad deal uh it does throw a code for the n428 valve saying that there's an electrical fault well yeah because it's not connected so what I decided to do is just leave it disconnected, and as you can see, no check engine light. So it doesn't throw a check engine light. I don't think this will hurt emissions uh, situations. No idea. Um, but basically what I've done is I've, I've, I've mechanically, well, I've disconnected that switch, which won't allow the computer to switch to lower oil pressure mode. I mean, this is still not the greatest oil pressure. I mean, it's 16, 17 PSI when it's on the full uh, setting. But man, I, I, I think this is so far a win. So I'm definitely going to just roll around on this for a while before I actually install uh, the new engine. I just don't see the point and going through all that heartache if I don't have to. And yes, I'm pulling in the Costco. Anywho, just wanted to give that update. Peace.